Hello, boys and girls. I'm glad to see you back with me. I missed you guys. And welcome to another episode of Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. And I hope you're ready for your story tonight. Tonight's title is The Gingerbread Man Loose on the Fire Truck. I just want to do a shout out, sort of, to Buzz, Nia, and Layla. I hope you enjoy it. On a bright Monday morning, my teacher breezed in. Let's all make a circle. It's time to begin. She winked and then she whispered, our field trips today. The classroom erupted with shouts, hooray. When riding the bus to the big fire station to meet firefighters and spot their Dalmatian, Sophia leaned down and said, you're coming too. You're our gingerbread man. We wouldn't leave you. Just jump in the backpack. I'll give you a ride. There's a pocket for you over here on the side. The pocket was cozy. I peeked from the top. The bus drove for miles, then came to a stop. In front of a building with shiny red doors stood two firefighters from Company 4. One had a gear for a quick demonstration, and standing beside him was Spot the Dalmatian. I was jostled and jiggled as kids moved about. Then I fell from the pocket right on the dog's snout. Spot sniffed at my face, taking one sticky lick. I needed a trick to get out of this quick. He tossed me up high with his mouth open wide, but I flipped toward his tail and slid down like a slide. Whee! <laughs> my feet hit the ground. I took off for the station, but right on my heels was the hungry Dalmatian. I'll run and I'll dodge as fast as I can. I'm not a dog bone, I'm the gingerbread man. The class didn't notice. They tried on black boots and helmets and air tanks and big heavy suits. I dashed to the fire truck, jumped to the seat. Woo, I was almost a sweet dog tree. Then I heard someone whistle, spot trotted away. So I jumped through the window without a delay. I landed on top a big silver bowl. Oh no, I cried out as I hit toward the pole. I shimmied right up and I sprang from the top, then jumped on a bed with a big belly flop. There were several more bunks with their covers pulled tight for each firefighter who stayed through the night. I bounced on each bed on my way to the floor, then into a room with a bright checkered floor. I peeked round the corner and smelled something yummy. A grumbled sound rumbled up from my tummy. I spotted a fireman filling up bowls with five alarm chili and buttery rolls. Then all of a sudden, I heard a loud noise. Woo! -hoo! Fire, I once shouted. No lunch for us boys. Then rushed to the bunk room and slid down the pole. I followed behind them. Then I peered down the hole. Spot wasn't there, a sure sign of good luck. So I slipped down the pole and then jumped on the truck. I'll ride to the rescue as fast as I can. I want to help too. I'm the gingerbread man. Woo woo! With the sirens, the lights flashed around as I zoomed past the classmates below on the ground. We sped through the streets and I clung to the back near ladders and hoses piled up in a stack. The engine pulled up, firefighters jumped out then rushed to the hydrant and opened the spout. I spied a large house with a shed near the back. Smoke rose from its windows, all sooty and black. I'll put out that fire as fast as I can. I know I can help. I'm the gingerbread man. I grabbed the hose nozzle and gave it a pull. But the hose whipped and buckled like a rodeo bull. Then the water swooshed out and it doused the old shed and the powerful spray shot the hat off my head. The chief ran up quickly and dove on the hose. She crawled her way up till we came nose to nose. Look everyone, it's a gingerbread man. Now where did you come from? said Fire Chief Ann. I came with the children to visit the station, but I almost got eaten by Spot the Dalmatian. 
I had to escape from that hungry crumb snatcher, so I jumped on the truck when I heard your dispatcher. Good thinking, smart cookie. We're glad you hopped on. You wrestled that hose till the fire was gone. We packed up the truck and drove back to the station. We pulled in the drive to a standing ovation. Your gingerbread guy was a brave little man. He doused every flame, announced Fire Chief Ann. The children applauded and shouted out, yay! They held me up high, yelling, you saved the day. You're really a hero. You're part of our crew. But you're missing your hat, so we have one for you. A shiny red helmet from Company 4. There are more for your classmates stacked up by the door. I tried on my hat and shouted, Woo-hoo! I'm a gingerbread man and a fireman too. <laughs> uh, that was a good story, wasn't it? The gingerbread man. Thanks, Nia. Thanks, Buzz. And thanks, Layla, for borrowing the book. And I hope you have a good night. We'll see you next time on Over the Moon Bedtime Stories. Bye-bye.